Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss exercise 11.4, question number two. Change the following statements using expressions into statements in ordinary language. For example, given Salim scores R runs in a cricket match, Lanin scores R plus 15 runs. In ordinary language, Lanin scores 15 runs more than Salim. Here, question or A A is here you see that A is. This is a a notebook costs rupees p. A book costs three p. That means a book costs three times the cost of notebook, right? Here is three p. Three p means what? Three into cost of notebook. Three into cost of notebook. Three into cost of cost of notebook. Three into cost of notebook. That is the cost of book. Cost of book. Cost of book is equal to three into cost of notebook. Therefore, we can say that a book costs a book. Therefore, we can say that a book book costs. A book costs three times the cost of a notebook, right? A book costs three times three times the cost three times the cost of a notebook. Three times the cost the cost of a notebook of a notebook. Now B. Tony has Q marbles on the table. He has eight Q marbles in his box. That means Tony. Tony has eight times. Tony has. Tony has eight times. Eight times. Tony has eight times the number of marbles. Tony has eight times the number of marbles. The number of marbles. Number of marbles put on the table. Number of marbles put on the table. Put on the table. Table by him. Table by him. Right. Therefore, Tony has eight times the number of marbles put on the table by him. Now, C is our class has n students. The school has 20 n student. Therefore, the school has 20 times the number of students in a class. Therefore, the school has. We can say. Therefore, the school has. Therefore, the school, the school has 20 times. The school has 20 times. The school has 20 times the number of students. 20 times the number of students. The number of students. Number of students. In a class, in a class, right? The school has 20 times the number of students in a class. Now, D is here. You see, D question number D is what is that? Jaggu is Jaggu is J years old. His uncle is 4 J years old, and his aunt is 4 J minus 3 years old. Jaggu is J years old. That is, his uncle is 4 years old. Jaggu's uncles. Age is four times. Jaggu's uncles. Jaggu's uncles. Jaggu's. Jaggu's uncle is four times. 
his age jagku's uncle is four times four times his age his age and his aunt is and his aunt his aunt aunt is 3 years less than the age of his uncle his aunt is 3 years 3 years 3 years less then 3 years less than less than the age less than the age of his uncle of his uncle right now e in an arrangement of dots there are r rows each row contains five dots therefore you can say the number of dots in a row is five times the number of rows therefore you can say that the number of dots that the number of dots number of dots number of dots in a row in a row number of dots in a row is five times is five times five times the number of rows five times the five times the the number of rows number five times the number of rows okay number of rows right in arrangement of dots there are r rows and each row contains five dots the number of dots in a row is five times the number of rows therefore the number of dots in a row is five times the number of rows in arrangement of dots there are r rows each row contain five dots that the number of dots in a row is five times the number of rows in an arrangement of dots there are r rows each row contains five dots that means we can say that the number of dots in a row is five times the number of rows dear friends if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you everybody for watching this video